assalamu alaikum today we are going to discuss nuclear physics topic number 2 the nucleus in the nucleus the core topics are describe the composition of nucleus in terms of proton and neutron state the relative charge of proton neutron and electron which is plus 1 0 and minus 1 respectively define the term proton number which is also called as atomic number denoted by the number z and nucleon number mass number denoted by the in uh, alphabet a and be able to calculate the number of neutrons in a nucleus and how we can calculate the number of neutrons by these two numbers uh, use the nucleoid notation a z x explain what is meant by an isotope and state that an element may have more than one isotope okay and in supplementary topic we are going to describe describe the process of nuclear fusion and nuclear fusion reaction as the splitting or joining of nuclei to include the nuclei equation and qualitative description of mass and energy changes without values know the relationship between the proton number and the relative charge on a nucleus and know the relationship between the nucleon number and the relative mass of a nucleus so let's start with the describe the composition of the nucleus in terms of proton and neutron the nucleus is positively charged and is made up of proton which are positively charged and neutron which is neutral neutron means there is no charge on neutron as we have discussed in our previous topic atom is made up of a nucleus at the center of which is massive and electron revolve in a circular orbit around the nucleus of the atom and most of the space occupied by the atom is empty this is all we have discussed in rutherford model and uh, in rutherford model we have seen that alpha particle are strike on a gold foil and we have discovered that there is a positive particle positive nucleus at the center of the atom okay how questions are arises question is uh, like uh, which statement is correct for the nucleus of an atom the nucleus contain electron sorry electrons are not present in the nucleus so our first statement is wrong the nucleus contain the same number of proton as neutron this is also not true we know that there is a difference there may be neutron number may be greater or less than proton number so there is not necessary that proton and neutron must be equal the nucleus has a total charge of zero no nucleus is positively charged because if nucleus is for the charge to be zero the proton number and the neutron number must be equal and neutron contain a negative charge but when neutron does not contain a negative charge we cannot say that it is neutral so the nucleus is very small compared with the size of atom this statement is correct we have seen it is in rutherford model the nucleus is very small most of the space occupied by the atom is empty number 2 uh, number 2 topic the state the relative charge of proton neutron and electron as plus 1 0 and minus 1 respectively the proton charge is plus 1 and it is also denoted by plus e uh, we have this is relative charge here is a very important term relative charge the charge on proton is 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb we have seen it is in the previous chapter of electrostatics that electron charge or proton charge is equal to 1.6 10 raised to power minus 19 but when we talk about the relative charges of proton the relative charge of proton is plus 1 and the relative charge of electron is minus 1 or it is also denoted as minus e also denoted as minus e neutron is neutral it has zero charge remember that it is relative charge when we discuss about relative charge proton is plus 1 electron is minus 1 but when we discuss in uh, static physics static electrostatic physics then it is 1.6 tend to power minus 19 coulomb not plus 1 coulomb or minus 1 coulomb okay question how question may be asked the charge on a proton is e what is the charge on electron and what is the charge on neutron we know that charge of neutron is zero so our this statement or this statement could be true because neutron have zero charge but what we are going to discuss the charge of an electron so what is the charge of electron electron is minus e so d option is the right option in which electron is minus e and your neutron is zero okay the third one and very important topic define the term proton number atomic number which is denoted by z nucleon number mass number denoted by a and be able to calculate the number of neutrons in a nucleus how we are 
able to calculate the number of neutrons okay the proton number is the total number of protons proton number or atomic number is the total number of proton present in the nucleus of atom total number of proton in the nucleus of atom is called proton number or atomic number it is shown by its name as it is it is as said proton number and nucleon number we have discussed in our previous uh, topic that nucleons what are nucleons nucleons are proton plus neutron present in the nucleus of atom these are combined called as nucleons nucleons why because they they lie in nucleus that why these are called as nucleons okay nucleon number mass number which is denoted by a the total number of protons and neutron means proton plus neutron number is equal to mass number proton number plus neutron number is equal to your mass number now if we have to find this neutron number then we have to this positive p will be negative at that side and it is a minus p and we know that proton number is also called proton number is called as atomic mass and it is denoted by z then it is a minus z when we subtract our proton number from the nucleon number we get the number of neutrons so number of neutrons is equal to nucleon number minus proton number it is also right as number of neutron is equal to mass number minus atomic number or number of neutron is equal to a minus z in the form of symbols in the form of symbols okay how question will be asked the diagram represents a carbon atom the diagram represents a carbon atom what is the nucleon number mass number nucleon number mean mass number mean total number of proton plus number of neutron so here are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 8 eight neutrons 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 proton so total neutron number is 6 plus 8 14 6 plus 8 14 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so 14 is our nucleon number if they ask what is its proton number or atomic number then 6 would be its atomic number okay very important for our nuclear physics the nutation nuclide nutation nuclide nutation here what is nuclide nutation this is the symbol of element for example you write na for sodium k for potassium cl for chlorine h for hydrogen as we have write helium the alpha particle before h e above here is your mass number the bigger number the bigger number is above and there smaller number number of proton number of proton or atomic number number of proton or atomic number and atomic mass so if i represent helium then the 4 is its atomic mass and 2 is its atomic number it means it has two proton from here we can write it has two proton and how many neutrons in it so we have 4 minus 2 which is equal to 2 so it has two proton and two neutron we have solved a question about it it has two proton and two neutron so it is very important nucleide notation we will write it is in very forms nucleide notation question number 1 how many neutrons are in a nucleus of the nucleide 3717 cl so proton number is 17 and the nucleon number it is i will write it like uh, not like a uh, it is 
योर z z इज इक्वल टू सेवनटीन एंड योर a इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सेवन एंड द न्यूट्रॉन नंबर इज a माइनस जेड सो थर्टी सेवन माइनस सेवनटीन विच इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी विच इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सो योर न्यूट्रॉन्स आर ट्वेंटी योर प्रोटॉन्स आर सेवनटीन योर न्यूट्रॉन्स आर ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन नंबर टू अ पर्टिकुलर न्यूक्लियाइड हैज द सिंबल थर्टी सेवन सेवनटीन सी एल वट इज ट्रू फॉर द एटम और दिस न्यूक्लियाइड सेम प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन कंटेन थर्टी सेवन सेवनटीन सी एल देयर इज ऑल्सो थर्टी सेवन सेवनटीन सी एल देयर आर सेवनटीन न्यूक्लियॉन्स सो नो न्यूक्लियॉन्स आर थर्टी सेवन हाउ मेनी न्यूक्लियॉन्स थर्टी सेवन देयर आर सेवनटीन प्रोटोन द न्यूक्लियर दिस स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट दिस स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट देयर आर थर्टी सेवन इलेक्ट्रॉन नो देयर आर नॉट थर्टी सेवन इलेक्ट्रॉन there are 37 neutron no there are not 37 neutron so from b b is your right equation uh, right answer there are 17 protons in the nucleus okay the question number 3 carbon 14 6 is a nucleide of carbon what is the composition of one nucleus of this nucleide nucleus one nucleus contain how many things how many things what are the nucleus contain nucleus contain protons and neutrons so how many protons we know from this this is the proton number so proton is 6 so these two may be right 6 and how many neutrons are present then we will subtract both these number 14 minus 6 which is 8 so c is our right option Eight is our neutron and six is our proton. Okay, the question number four. A nucleoid has a symbol N E. N E is its symbol. Twenty two its atomic mass and ten is its atomic number. What is the proton number of the nucleus of this nucleoid? Very easy. The lower one is the proton number, so A is ten. So ten is your right option. the nucleoid notation for radium 226 whenever you will see a symbol with its number this would be atomic mass or mass number this will be nucleon number so 226 its nucleon number and 88 is its proton number so How many electrons orbit the nucleus of neutral atom? Now we know that in neutral atom, proton number is equal to electron number. So if it has eighty-eight proton, so for the neutral atom, it must has eighty-eight electron. It must must has eighty-eight electrons. Okay, question number six. A nucleoid has the symbol fourteen six C. How many protons are there in one nucleus of this nucleoid? Proton number is six, so six is your right option. A lithium nucleus contain three proton and four neutron. What is its nucleoid notation? So nucleoid notation there are all L I, L I, L I and L I. If it is not written like L I, this it could be L I L L something like different alphabets. then it will would would be written over here a lithium li or lithium l then you will choose where what is li where is li then you will choose from there okay contain three proton so i will write as li its three proton mean our atomic number is 3 our proton number is 3 which is below which is written below and four neutron so total number of nucleons are Three plus four, three plus four equal to seven. So what is the right option? C is the right option. Seven, three. Seven is your atomic mass or mass number or nucleon number, and three is your proton number or atomic uh, or or your proton number is three. Question number eight. A particular nucleoid of chlorine. can be represented by the symbol shown same question repeated how many electrons are there in neutral atom up now we there are ask about the new electrons 
in neutral atom so 17 are the proton number so there must be 17 electron for the neutral atom a nucleotide is represented by the symbol p x q p is its mass number and q is its atomic number or proton number how many neutrons are there so neutron number is equal to a minus z so it is p minus q where is p minus q there is d is your right option p means atomic mass minus atomic number z okay a nucleus of helium has the symbol 32 he which diagram represent a, an atom of 32 helium an atom contain equal number of proton and new uh, electron an atom contain equal number of proton and electron in ions there are difference between the proton number and electron number but in an atom it is the proton number is equal to electron number so our proton number is 2 our electron number is 2 now what about the neutron number how many neutrons we have then it is 3 minus 2 which is equal to 1 so 1 neutron 2 protons and 2 electron revolving around the nucleus so b is the right option why a is not the right option there is no neutron in it no neutron in it why there is not right option 3 electron revolving we have two electron options okay two electrons we could have two proton not two neutron so d is also your wrong option which statement about the neutral atom of 226 radium 88 is correct it has an equal number of neutron and proton so let's check 226 minus 88 16 16 minus 8 8 and it is 21 21 minus 8 ten eleven twelve one twenty eight is the neutron number so our neutron number and proton number are not equal so first option is the wrong option it has more electron than neutrons no electron number and proton number are equal so their proton number is less so electron number is also equal to the proton number 88 is less than 226 not greater than 26 226 it has more electron than proton no it is a neutral atom it must have equal number of proton and electron it has more neutron than proton this is the right option the neutrons are 128 and the protons are 88 okay theory question the nucleoid notation for bismuth 214 214 bismuth 83 state the composition of the nucleus of bismuth okay the bismuth nucleus contain proton is equal to 83 the lower number 83 is your proton number no 214 83 must be subtracted 4 minus 3 1 and 21 minus 8 21 minus 8 we have carried 1 11 1 from this side 3 131 so neutrons is equal to 131 it has 131 neutrons and 83 protons okay the the nucleoid notation for the alpha particles 4 to alpha state the number of proton and neutron proton and neutron protons are 2 and how many neutrons are there 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 it has two proton and two neutron if there is neutrons there are two if here written as nucleon if it is asked about the nucleon then nucleons are four okay then our next topic topic number 5 explain what is meant by an isotope and state that an element may have more than one isotope atom of the same element have the same number of proton the element is same number of proton okay every element contain different number of neutrons uh, there are some element which do not have any 
uh, isotopes it means they have uh, the same number of proton neutron but in some elements some element like hydrogen in which the hydrogen have three isotopes uh, protium deuterium and tritium chlorine has two isotopes carbon has isotopes so in atoms of same element have the same number of proton so an element is considered by the proton number or is verified by the proton number so how we can say that uh, uh, if it is written like uh, carbon 6 so 6 will show that it is carbon if it is written 2 with the symbol x 2 means it is representing helium so any element is known by their its atomic number atomic number represent what type of element it is okay isotopes are forms of an element atom with the same number of proton but different number of neutrons it may have different number of neutron if the number of neutron changes the proton number is same then it is same element but if it the number of proton changes then it becomes some other element it becomes some other element because elements have same number of proton but different number of neutron then these are called isotope for example hydrogen 1 1 hydrogen 2 1 hydrogen 3 1 what is it representing in the first one in first hydrogen 1 1 proton number is 1 and neutron number is 0 in hydrogen 2 1 proton number is 1 and neutron number is also 1 hydrogen 3 1 proton number is 1 and neutron number is 2 so neutrons are changing in first protium there is no neutron in deuterium they have one neutron in tritium they have two neutron different number of neutrons does not affect the nucleus because neutrons are neutral they do not repel each other while proton repel each other so if there are difference in the proton number they are different element if there is a difference in the neutron number the proton number is same so they are isotopes of one another isotopes are those elements which have same atomic number but different mass number and isotopes have same chemical properties isotopes have same chemical properties because chemical properties depend upon the electron number and in isotope electron number and proton number are same electron number and proton number are same so how the questions are asked question number one a certain element has several isotopes which statement about the isotope is correct they must have different number of electron orbiting the nucleus no the electron and proton number must be same they must have same number of neutrons in their nuclear no nucleon number a neutron number are different for isotopes they must have same number of nucleons in their nuclei no nucleon numbers are different because neutrons are different they must have same number of protons yes this statement is correct for isotopes they must have same number of proton they must have same number of electron below are the symbols for five different nucleides five different nuclei nucleide 1 3517 nucleide 2 3717 3818 8135 and 8137 which two nucleides are isotopes of same element isotopes have same atomic number same atomic number so the first nucleide atomic number is 17 second nucleoid atomic number is 17 third nucleoid atomic number is 18 which is different from the first two 35 which is different from the first two and 37 which is different from the first two so these first two are the say having the same atomic number so these two are nuclei these two are isotopes these two are isotopes so nucleoid 1 and nucleoid 2 are isotopes question number 3 below are four statements about isotopes of a certain element 
which statement about the isotope must be correct they are radioactive not necessary they are unstable not necessary they have the same number of neutron no they have different number of neutron they have same number of proton this statement is correct this statement is correct always correct must be correct means always correct so they have the same number of proton question number 4 about the isotopes a nucleus of element x is represented by 5626x what is an isotopes of element of x so isotopes have same atomic number or same proton number so same proton number 26 26 26 24 and 28 uh, these two are the right options maybe uh, some writing mistakes but the number 26 is equal to these two so so okay this is not the isotope why a is not the isotope because in isotopes the proton number must be equal but the neutron number are different 56 and 56 this is the same element this is the same element this is not its isotopes isotopes have different number of different number of different number of neutrons so its atomic mass must be different from 56 so it is 54 and 26 b is your right option a certain element has several isotope which statement about these isotope is correct they must have different number of electrons no they must have same number of electron they must have same number of neutron in their nuclei no neutron number so neutron number must be different so they are different they must have the same number of nucleons in the nuclei nucleon number is also different which we have seen in the previous example like the nucleon number must be different if they have same number 56 56 it they are representing the same isotope of the same element okay ji they must have the same number of proton in nuclei yes they must have same number of proton in their nucleus okay ji state in terms of the particle in each nucleus how the nuclei of two isotopes of the same elements are different what is difference in the isotopes neutron number neutron number is different neutron number is different neutron number is different isotopes have different number of neutrons okay the uranium 238 and uranium 234 what are they representing they are representing the atomic mass or mass number a radioactive isotopes of an element uranium a uranium 238 nucleus is different from uranium 234 nucleus but both decay by the emission of an alpha particle what is the emission of alpha particle we will discuss it in the next chapter okay in terms of the particle in each state how a nucleus of uranium 238 different from a nucleus of uranium 234 how they are different from each other one has nucleons 238 and other has nucleons 234 okay and in in the other words we can write here as uranium 238 has four more neutrons than uranium 234 so what is the difference uranium 238 has four more neutrons than 234 because both are uranium both must have equal number of proton what is difference between them the number of neutrons so uranium 238 has four more neutron than uranium 234 although the two nuclei are different they are both nuclei of uranium state a property that make these isotope the same element they have same 
number of what same number of protons they have same number of protons okay there are two stable naturally occurring isotopes of hydrogen common hydrogen hydrogen 1 has proton number 1 and a nucleon number 1 hydrogen 11 okay ji hydrogen 2 deuterium has a nucleon number of 2 nucleon number is written why proton number is not written because we know that isotopes have same number of proton so it is hydrogen then its atomic number is always 1 there is a radioactive isotope of hydrogen called tritium hydrogen 3 has a nucleon number 3 nucleon number 3 means that it has three nucle three nucleon number and one is its atomic number or proton number complete the table number of proton in hydrogen 1 is 1 in hydrogen 2 it is also 1 in hydrogen 3 it is also 1 because all the element all the isotopes of the same element have same number of proton so these all have one one proton number of neutron in first there is no neutron because one minus one equal to zero in the second one two minus one is equal to one so it has one neutron and in third it has two neutron three minus one is equal to two okay electron no hydrogen one if it has one electron then it uh, sorry it has one proton then it must have one electron hydrogen 2 same one electron and hydrogen 3 is also has one electron because the electron number and proton number must be equal three nuclei are represented as 8342x 20983y 8442z send and explain which nuclei are isotopes of the same element so we know that isotopes have same atomic number same proton number so which one have same proton number this one and this one both have 42 proton number nucleon number is 84 nucleon number is 83 so we can write here x 8342 and z 8442 are isotopes because both have same proton number if you write only x and z you will get one marks but if you because you have stated it but for the two marks you have to explain it and by how will you can explain it this very simple because both have same proton number okay the most abundant stable isotopes of strontium is strontium 88 its nucleon number is 88 and its proton number is 38 in nucleide notation it is written x y s x y s write down the values of x and y what is x x is your nucleon number and y is your atomic number or proton number so what is its proton number its proton number is 38 then y is 38 and what is x x is nucleon number so nucleon number is 88 the number of neutrons in a nucleus of strontium 88 now we have to find the neutron number so neutron is equal to a minus z nucleon number 88 minus proton number 38 so 50 is your answer the number of electron in a neutral atom of strontium so in neutral atom we have same number of proton and electron so if it has 50 proton then it must have 50 electrons strontium 90 is a radioactive isotope produced by the nuclear reaction state how the structure of this isotope differ from the strontium 88 so strontium 90 has 
टू मोर वट टू मोर वी नो डैट देर इज डिफरेंस इन न्यूट्रॉन नंबर सो टू मोर न्यूट्रॉन देन स्ट्रोटियम स्ट्रोटियम एटी एट स्ट्रोटियम नाइंटी हैज टू मोर न्यूट्रॉन देन स्ट्रोटियम एटी एट A certain element is known to exist as two different isotopes. Said one thing that is the same for atoms of both isotopes. Both isotopes have same number of proton or electron. Said one thing that is different between atoms of these two isotopes. There is a difference in the neutron. An atom of an an atom of one of the isotopes of sodium contain 11 proton 11 electron and 13 neutrons underline which of these three will be same in neutral atom of all the isotopes of sodium they must have equal number of proton and electron in isotope proton and electron are same electrons and protons are same and in neutral atom electron and proton number is equal that's why we write is 11 proton 11 electron 11 proton and 11 electron must be same in all the neutral isotopes of the sodium state the nucleon number of the isotope nucleon number is what the proton number plus a neutron number nucleon number is what proton number plus neutron number 13 plus 11 24 what can you say about the chemical properties of different isotopes of sodium? They have same chemical properties because their electron number are same. One isotope of sodium is 25 Na. 25 is written above so it is your mass number. How many neutrons are there in one atom of this isotope? Now 25 is your mass number. You have to find the neutrons. What are neutrons? A minus Z. And from where we get the Z? We know that every isotope of sodium have same number of protons. Same number of protons. So it means it has also has 11 protons. So 21, 25 minus 11 is 14 so it must have 14 number of neutrons okay chlorine has two isotopes one which is 35 nucleon number is 35 and the other nucleon number is 37 the proton number of chlorine is 17 complete the table proton number is same for both 17 and 17 17 and 17 both it is 35, it is 37, but they must have equal number of proton. That's why they are called isotopes. Otherwise, they do not called as isotopes. They are different elements. Okay, same number of proton, they must have same number of electron. For the neutral atom, electron and proton number must be same. No neutrons. 35 minus 17. 35 minus 17 will be your number of neutrons. And 37 minus 17 will be your number of neutrons. 20 and 18. 35 minus 17 equal to 18. And 37 minus 17 equal to 20. Six different nucleides have nucleon and proton number. This is your nucleon number. This is your proton number. State two which two nucleides are isotopes. Isotope have same proton number. So 84 and 84 all other are different from each other so your a and c are isotopes of one another because they have same proton number cesium 133 is a stable isotope of an element cesium but cesium 135 is radioactive 
सीजियम वन थर्टी फाइव एंड सीजियम वन थर्टी थ्री अ न्यूक्लियस ऑफ सीजियम वन थर्टी थ्री कंटेन सेवेंटी एट न्यूट्रॉन्स नो हाउ मेनी न्यूट्रॉन्स आर सीजियम वन थर्टी एट कंटेन सेवेंटी एट सो सेवेंटी एट वन थर्टी थ्री माइनस सेवेंटी एट तो डेट वुड बी थर्टीन फाइव एंड ट्वेल्व माइनस सेवन फिफ्टी फाइव सो प्रोटोन नंबर इज फिफ्टी फाइव एंड इट आल्सो हैव प्रोटोन नंबर फिफ्टी फाइव लेट्स चेक वन थर्टी फाइव माइनस एटी फाइव एंड थर्टीन माइनस एट इज आल्सो फाइव सो दीज आर टू आइसोटॉप बिकॉज दे हैव सेम प्रोटोन नंबर पिक वन टेक इन ईच रो of the table to indicate how the number of particles in a neutral atom of cesium 133 compare with the number of particles in neutral atom of cesium 135 so first row has been completed already okay the number of neutron two fewer than cesium 135 135 uh, it means it has 135 it has 133 so it is two less than 135 okay the number of proton equal number of proton equal number of proton so number of nucleons number of nucleons means it also have two fewer it has one cesium 135 have two more than 133 so we write is two fewer than 135 cesium particles in cesium 133 number of nucleons in 133 cesium is two fewer than 135 and number of electrons they must be equal number of electrons okay div another important topic this is your uh, supplementary topic uh, supplement topic describe the process of nuclear fission and nuclear fusion as the splitting or joining of nuclei okay what is nuclear fission when a large and unstable nucleus splits to form two smaller nuclei न्यूट्रॉन्स एंड एनर्जी न्यूट्रॉन्स एंड एनर्जी यूरेनियम टू थर्टी फाइव डिके यूरेनियम टू थर्टी फाइव एंड दट अटोमिक नंबर इज नाइन्टी टू इट डिके टू फॉर्म बेरियम वन टू वन फिफ्टी सिक्स प्लस क्रिप्टॉन नाइन्टी टू एंड थर्टी सिक्स प्लस थ्री न्यूट्रॉन्स and we bombarded it with one neutron when uranium which is also used as a fuel in nuclear reactor it is bombarded with nucleus it sorry nucleus it is bombarded with neutron it decay to form barium and krypton it split into two smaller nuclei these are also called as daughter nuclei these are also called as daughter nuclei this is your parent nuclei parent nuclei decay into daughter nuclei and this splitting is called as nuclear fusion when a large and unstable nuclei split to form two smaller nuclei neutrons and a lot of energy is released in this process the process of splitting a nucleus is called nuclear fusion uranium 235 is a commonly used isotope as a fuel in nuclear reactor when a uranium 235 nuclear absorbs a neutron it splits into two daughter nuclei when and two or three neutron releasing energy in this process the neutron can induce further fusion events in a chain reaction it is a chain reaction one one uranium breakdown and at uh, three uranium then break down then nine uranium break down because the neutrons formed over here react with the other atoms of the uranium or the other atom will decay okay div how questions are asked when a nucleus of a certain isotope of uranium is bombarded by a suitable neutron it splits into two smaller nuclei and energy is released name this process this is called nuclear fusion reaction nuclear fusion reaction fusion reaction 
और न्यूक्लियर फीजन रिएक्शन यू कैन राइट बोथ फीजन रिएक्शन और न्यूक्लियर फीजन रिएक्शन ओके जी व्हाट इज न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन रिएक्शन फ्यूजन वर्ड कम फ्रॉम द फ्यूज वर्ड कम फ्रॉम फ्यूज वेन टू न्यूक्लिया फ्यूज टूगेदर वेन टू न्यूक्लिया फ्यूज टूगेदर एंड फॉर्म अ लार्ज न्यूक्लिया वेन टू न्यूक्लिया फ्यूज टूगेदर एंड फॉर्म अ लार्ज न्यूक्लिया हैवियर न्यूक्लिया एंड रिलीज अ लॉट ऑफ एनर्जी इट इज कॉल्ड न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन रिएक्शन न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन रिएक्शन वेन टू न्यूक्लिया फ्यूज टूगेदर टू फॉर्म अ लार्जर न्यूक्लिया विद द रिलीज ऑफ हाई अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी इट इज कॉल्ड एज न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन रिएक्शन ओके जी फॉर एग्जाम्पल ड्यूट्रियम एंड ट्रिटियम ड्यूट्रियम एंड ट्रिटियम ड्यूट्रियम हाइड्रोजन टू वन प्लस हाइड्रोजन थ्री वन दे कंबाइन टू फॉर्म हीलियम फोर टू हीलियम फोर टू प्लस अ न्यूट्रॉन दिस रिएक्शन इज योर न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन रिएक्शन इन विच टू स्मॉलर न्यूक्लिया कंबाइन टू फॉर्म अ लार्जर न्यूक्लिया द प्रोसेस ऑफ फ्यूजिंग टू न्यूक्लिया टू फॉर्म अ लार्जर न्यूक्लियस इज कॉल्ड न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन रिएक्शन एनर्जी इज रिलीज ड्यूरिंग दिस प्रोसेस पर टू स्टार्ट दिस प्रोसेस यू हैव ऑल्स यू हैव टू गिव अ लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी टू स्टार्ट दिस प्रोसेस ओके न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन रिएक्शन वेयर दिस दिस रिएक्शन अकर्स दिस रिएक्शन इज मोस्टली अकर इन सन एंड अदर स्टार विच रिलीजिंग विच आर रिलीजिंग हाई अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी ओके जी हाउ क्वेश्चन आर आस्क एन एक्सट्रीमली वायलेंट न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन इज टेकिंग प्लेस एट द सेंटर ऑफ द सन इट इज द रिएक्शन डेट एनेबल द सन टू एमिट बोथ अ वेरी लार्ज क्वान्टिटी ऑफ एनर्जी एंड एन एक्सट्रीमली लार्ज नंबर ऑफ चार्ज पार्टिकल चार्ज पार्टिकल लाइक हीम न्यूक्लिया और अदर पार्टिकल लाइक प्रोटोन्स इलेक्ट्रॉन नेम द टाइप ऑफ न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन टेकिंग प्लेस एट द सन इट वी नो डैट इट इज न्यूक्लियर न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन रिएक्शन ओके मैनी ऑफ दीज चार्ज पार्टिकल प्रोड्यूस बाय द सन आर एमिटेड फ्रॉम इट सरफेस एट हाई स्पीड एंड ट्रेवल आउट इन द स्पेस एक्सप्लेन वाई दीज पार्टिकल कॉन्स्टिट्यूट एन इलेक्ट्रिक करंट बिकॉज फ्लो ऑफ चार्ज is called current as they are flowing from the sun and moving away from the sun flowing from the sun so this flowing of charge is called current state the equation that relates electric current i to the charge q of the flowing define any other terms in the equation we know that current is equal to charge by time charge by time where t is time where t is time so we have write the equation i is equal to q by t and describing the other term so t is time okay the question number 2 under condition of extremely high temperature and pressure as in the interior of the sun hydrogen nuclei can join together name this process this process is called nuclear fusion reaction nuclear fusion reaction state whether energy is released absorbed or neither released nor absorbed during the reaction so we need that no doubt energy is released in this process a large amount of energy is released in this process okay know the relationship between the proton number and the relative charge on a nucleus okay uh, uh for example we have helium nuclei helium nuclei has four atomic mass and two is its proton number so we know that helium nuclei has a charge of plus 2 on it helium nuclei has a charge of plus 2 on it 
how we can say that it has a charge of plus 2 helium nuclei only discussing nuclei there is no electron on it because it has two protons on it so the relative mass of helium nuclei is plus 2 relative mass of helium nuclei is plus 2 sorry not mass relative charge because it has two proton its relative charge is plus 2 because neutron has zero charge so helium nuclei the charge is represented by plus 2 because it has two proton for example hydrogen hydrogen has one or oh, let's suppose we tritium we take tritium tritium 3 and 1 it has one proton and two neutron so which is charge proton is charge so it has charge of plus 1 for example carbon 6 12 it has 6 proton and 6 neutron what is the relative charge on its nuclei its nuclei has plus 6 e charge plus 6 e charge okay Topic number 8, know that the relationship between the nucleon number and the relative mass of a nucleus. Like the charge depend upon the, relate, uh, the relative charge depend upon the relative charge depend upon the atomic number. But the relative mass depend upon the nucleon number. As the nucleon number increases, the relative mass also increases. For example, helium has two nucleons. So its relative mass is plus uh, helium has sorry helium has four nucleons. So its relative mass is plus four. Hydrogen has one, two or three. If its first isotope, if its second isotope, and if it is third isotope. If it is protium, then its relative atomic mass is or the mass number is 1 its relative atomic mass is 2 deuterium has relative atomic mass 2 and tritium has relative atomic mass is 3 carbon carbon has relative atomic mass 12 helium helium have relative atomic mass 4 so this is for today uh, we will discuss uh, next our topics in our next uh, lecture.